So do you want to okay. eat a rabbit or do you want to eat a carrot? <laughs> This wow. Oh, she's going to love that. <laughs> oh, look, it's even got a little basket at the yeah. front. Oh, it's got oh the she's going to like love that. Well. Yeah. This will be a nice surprise for her, won't it? It will. Yeah, come here. Okay. Right, we've got a surprise for Sienna. In the car, we've got her a bike. I know. Oh, my goodness. She doesn't know, okay? Darren's in the car and he wants me to give him a ring to let him come in. Yeah, we just picked Sienna up from school, but we walked there. We didn't go in the car, so the bike is still in the car. That's why I'm like, it's literally soaking wet. It's pouring down the rain out there. So Darren said that he's going to go wait in the car because Sienna's just gone upstairs and then he's going to bring it in and we're going to surprise her and we're going to do it with you guys as well. So I'm really excited for this. Anyway, guys, what's good? Let us know what is good about your day in the comments section. What is good about my day is that I'm wearing the new Treasure Others clothing collection. I am wearing the classic Toby tee with a twist. And we've also got loads of tops and hoodies and joggers and loads of amazing stuff, guys. Check it out now on treasureothers.com and go and grab yourself some as well. It's all about being the best you, being yourself. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, live life on your terms, not living by other people's standards and rules. It's quite empowering, guys. So go and grab yourself some now at treasureothers.com. Anyway, I better go give daddy this a call and then we can surprise Sienna. Yeah, bring it in now, okay? It's bye bye. Yes, come on then. Sienna, come here. I've got you a glass of water. Come on, drink it up before it dries up. Come on, here we go. You right? Yeah. Yeah, do you have a good day at school? Yeah. Can you say hello to the first fan? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Nice Thank and wet. <laughs> we got soaking wet in the way, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. You are? Right? Hi, Oh. Come. Nothing? Just waiting for Dad to knock on the door. Right now, isn't he? I feel like normally you're not like this. No. I feel like normally you're like getting all ready and making dinner. Yeah. Not just telling you to come down for yeah, a glass of water. Yeah, and saying that it's going to get dried up. No, it's pouring with rain. I say, <gasps> oh, oh, all right, right, stand there. Okay. Right, close your eyes. Okay. What is this? It's for like Christmas. <laughs> Were you expecting this? No! <laughs> they are you all set to go? I was yeah. expecting to see what you were doing. I knew you were going to like plan something for me. But I didn't know it was going to be a bike until you wheeled it out of my foot! Well, we'd never do that to you, darling. Yeah, I love it. You might as well call this like an early birthday present, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah an early yeah. birthday present. We don't normally make you wait um, for things like this, do we? You knew all about this, didn't you, Karma? You I came with me and Daddy. she's jealous of the bike. She can't be jealous. Look at her. <laughs> Something that cute. Um, Mum, just to let you know, but there's a hole in the bottom of your jeans. Oh, no. There's two of them, though. Oh, I don't really have any other jeans, though. I need to go and get them. What? Huh? <laughs> That even managed to happen. Like, that is literally like. I did it when I was twerking in the car. It's twerk, 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 twerk. Oh, I remember you said about the hole. I didn't realize yeah. it was that big. Yeah, that's it. Oh my yeah. goodness, mom. What? Yeah, there's one big hole there, then there's like a kind of a little Look at bit that, Miss Fab. I thought it was actually three. Leave my car alone. Get off my car. Why don't you just not wear the jeans? Right, because I've just had karma. I don't see the point of buying some new jeans until I'm back to my normal self. I so guess so, I, I just yeah. don't want to buy jeans and then they won't fit me in another <laughs> time. So I'm just going to wait until I'm back in shape again and then I'll buy some jeans. So. Yeah, good job you've got this cardigan because that covers it up most of the time. Yeah. Stop it, leave me alone. <laughs> 
Fizz fam, we need to have a word with one another. So you know the other day when we found out that Mummy Fizz has got a crush on someone else? That's his top off. Yes. Oh! But that's not why I like that. Oh, that's... Mummy Fizz has got a little crush. Mummy Fizz has got a little crush. No! Well, I think it's turning into a full, like, quarter life crisis because today she's just told me that she is invested in the fanciest doormat known to man and woman. Here lieth the fanciest doormat known to man and woman. And what do you do with that doormat, Sienna? You take it off the table, then you put it on the floor, then you stand on it and go. Oh! <laughs> So guys, basically, what this very fancy doormat is, is lots of tiny little spikes. So we'll try and show you near the light, see if you can see. Very dull English weather at the moment. Can you see all these little spikes? They look like little cauliflowers or something, don't they? Like the Romanesco cauliflowers. So they're really sharp, really hard plastic. And the idea is that you either sit on it or walk on it or something like that. But it's, it's like a, a painful pleasure. You're really good at it, aren't you, Sienna? Yeah, I laid on it, actually. It's actually called a massage mat. And those little spiky things are lotus flowers, I'll have you know. Oh, are well, they? Okay. Yes, it's, very, okay. it's meant to be really, really good for you guys. And it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's like after a while you don't feel the pain anymore. Okay. So when you fancy... The all new fancy massage doormat. Just $29.95. I'm actually laying on it now. Wow. It Doesn't that hurt? No, it hurts. It's really, really good for you when you're travelling, so that's why I wanted to get it. It's like when you're just sitting in your bum on a plane. You we won't have room in the suitcase. No, you carry it with you. It doesn't go in the suitcase. You sit on it in the plane. There's a baggage allowance. No, there's not. You're only allowed one bag each. Basically, guys. You have to pay extra. <laughs> this is what I was like when I got it. So I, thought, I didn't realise how painful it was actually going to be. I'm obviously doing it wrong. I don't know. I was like this. I've got this really good massage bed, Daddy. Feels really, it's a bit uncomfortable. And then I'm like... You do get a bit used wow. to it, don't you? I think when you take your mind off it, like when you're talking to other people, but when I do it on my own, it's so weird, it really hurts. I went on it this morning and I was going, oh, and I literally couldn't take, I didn't dare take the other foot off because there'd be more pressure on that one. But it's really good night, look. Okay, that really hurts. <laughs> don't get too adventurous. Oh, it's so good. I think we should like try and see if you can like lay on the longest and like, I don't know, let's just get some strength. It is mental strength. Oh, careful, Sienna. Relaxing? I think when you're like tense and like you're not relaxed, because I'm like talking to you lot and having a nice time, I'm like relaxed, but when I tried to do this morning when I was in a rush to get Sina to school, I was really tense. So I was just, I'm just gonna sit on it for a little bit and get some energy, you really get energy from it. But all I got was just like my heart started beating, so it was really painful. Yeah, that was energy. Well, like in a bad way. Quick little cortisol. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't relaxing. It, like I was like, wow, my heart's beating really fast. And I was like, I think it's because it's an intense pain. It was really, really painful, but this feels really good. Is it dessert time? Dessert time, Karma? Yeah, you fancy some dessert? You don't get to have the same dessert as us, though, do you? You just have mummy's milk for dessert, yeah? So while Karma has her dessert over there, guys, did you watch yesterday's video where we made that insane cake? <laughs> It tastes like um, bread. I'm still gonna keep eating it because I'm hungry. Yeah, so it didn't necessarily taste that good while it was hot, but oh my goodness, look. So this is my little dessert I've got going on here. Masses of that cake with some ice cream and some berries. When it's cold, you know this happens with some food sometimes. I don't know why, but some sometimes like they taste either way nicer hot or way nicer cold. This is one like you guys, I think you gave it like twos or threes out of ten yeah. yesterday, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I gave yeah. it. But what is it cold? Nice. No, but out of 10. What is it out of 10 when it's cold? You gave it 10 anyway, didn't yeah, you actually? Oh yeah, same you time. give everything 10, don't you? Six and a half. Six and a half, yeah, yeah so yeah. it's actually improved loads, isn't it? I was thinking it? what food doesn't taste nice cold? I was trying to think about it, but I, I, I chips, they don't taste nice what cold. What about mashed potato? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Before I eat my dessert though, guys, we have a question which keeps coming up quite regularly after we done the video, which was called, is breast milk vegan, which 
in our mind was pretty obvious answer but obviously some people do wonder I guess maybe before like we went vegan we might have thought yeah, yeah I wonder if it is anyway so another question what keeps coming up is is the baby going to be vegan again that to our minds is like we know what the answer is to that but yeah presumably you're kind of wondering whether it's healthy for babies etc basically we've all been vegan for almost seven years now Sienna has been vegan her whole life strong yes. child exhibit A over here and so this is the thing which has literally made us all really fit healthy strong so yes of and we all love animals of course so yes of course the baby is going to be vegan she's going to be starting on foods just the same as what sienna did which was like mashed avocado mashed sweet potato uh, mashed but i'm going to say mashed a lot mashed butternut squash what else did she have banana oh yeah banana mashed banana, banana. Good. yeah good. coconut yogurt um oh are you okay? okay i can't think but um just mashed, mashed veggies. <laughs> yeah, mashed everything you had, didn't you, Sienna? Yes. Karma, what do you think about if we done that funny thing, what people say, where they're like, if you put like either an apple or a carrot and a rabbit in front of a child and then see which one they eat? Do you think we should do that? <laughs> what do you think, this man? Do you think basically when Karma is old enough to eat, if we put a rabbit in front of her and a carrot in front of her and we see whether she shares the carrot with the rabbit <laughs> or whether she starts trying to like strangle the rabbit and bite lumps of flesh off it because um, <laughs> um. that's like this kind of um, hypothesis what people quite often say which is like whether you are naturally inclined to want to eat meat or not because obviously the way you get it in shops is just not how you would ever find anything in nature whereas the way you get an apple in a shop is the way you'd find it in nature and obviously we're attracted to eating apples aren't we but are we attracted are like kids attracted is anyone attracted to fairy animals yeah to just I well know. yeah you want to stroke them but you don't want to just say no. <laughs> some people might yeah I guess so some people not but <laughs> yeah. not, not us personally so yeah basically as parents it's like your responsibility so you either do what you've been told like through the generations yeah. so what your parents what your grandparents taught you or like wacky idea you can go out and you can research yourself so we've thoroughly studied nutrition we've thoroughly studied fitness and then obviously we've looked into all the ethical yeah. side as well in fact that was the thing which was the catalyst for us because I watched a documentary called Earthlings which I wouldn't recommend unless you're over 18 but if you're over 18 and you're a meat eater watch Earthlings because it changed my life and then subsequently yeah. changed all of our lives didn't it? I mean today we just all feel really healthy and good Yeah, it just really suits us it's just like if somebody was a Christian and they wanted to bring their baby up as a Christian well, you do whatever like, you think is best for your really kids don't you? In that. Yeah. yeah so yeah. The parenting is really like personal there's no right or wrong way to do it and this is the way we want to do it as a family isn't yeah. it? So that's all that matters. I don't know, I don't know. See, this is all down to interpretation because I yeah. think there are right and wrong ways to do it, but then other people think there's right and wrong ways to do it as well. Exactly, so, so there you, is no right. You vote. have yeah. to do what you believe to be true for you. So in our own little mini, as well as we've studied so much research on it anyway, and yeah. thoroughly conclusive evidence, but still even in our own little mini research of just like our our family we can see I mean the we can all clearly see that um karma's really healthy yeah. she's such a chunk she, I don't think <laughs> she's like chubby baby. I don't think there's any problems with her getting the right nutrition she's literally because everybody like most people like I used to think this as well I just think that if you're vegan you'd be like skinny and what can you eat but obviously yeah. karma is like really well built she's definitely getting the right nutrients yeah aren't you aren't you look at the little double chin so do you want to eat you. a rabbit or do you want to eat a carrot Bye. I think you said carrot, didn't you? <laughs> oh, what? It kind of sounds like rapper. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> right. Well, you heard it here first, this time. She said she wants to eat rabbit, so obviously we can't deny her oh, what she wants. She you needs know. chocolate. Yeah, she we can just it. give her our advice, but we can't force she anything needs a on her. Bunny. So. You mean a chocolate bunny, don't you? <laughs> That's what you mean. You'll get loads. Of, you might be able to eat chocolate at Easter time, won't she? How old will she be? Not old enough. Oh, she can have a little bit of chocolate. Chocolate's all caffeinated, that she'll go mental. She can have some white chocolate because you can actually get dairy-free. You'll dairy be doing free. big fish, little fish cardboard box, won't you? She can have some dairy-free white chocolate, <coughs> can't you, yeah? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's talking to his fam, <laughs> aren't you? So that's going to be the end of today.
today's video, guys, we're now going to be taking Karma out for a nice little evening walk. See if we can spot any tasty rabbits, aren't we, Karma? Or, of course, maybe we could just eat the plants that those animals eat and thereby get the same nutrients. If you want to be part of the Treasure Others Toby Be Yourself movement, make sure to head over to treasureothers.com where you can grab yourself the women's fitted. We've got the hoodies. We've got the unisex. They're all available in black, white, and gray. And then, of course, we've got the joggers. We've got the bags going on. We've got the leggings down here. It's selling out super fast. Thank you all so much for those, for those of you guys who have got involved in the movement so far. Absolutely phenomenal support. Thank you, guys. Also, if you're new around here, click subscribe. Join the fifth time to make videos all the time where our intention is to make you smile. So we'll see you again in our next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.